What is up guys? Stanley Parable is me, Ronnie, playing the Stanley Parable. Okay, so let's play, start a new game. This game is not about this game is a Half Life mod. It's free. Um I have it on um the site called Desura. Um which accesses my Steam I think to let me play games, so I'm gonna let you watch this. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor next to his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had... Oh, sorry. Um, he had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he, he realised not another single order had arrived on the monitor in front of him. That. Okay, so this is the Stanley Parable and I am Stanley. And, well, um, something's gone down, really. Um, no one's around. And that's crazy. Stanley decided to go to the staff lounge to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself, and constantly okay, needed support and guidance what. from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Okay, so this game is about um, possible outcomes of the um, game, and pretty much. Um, so yeah, um, this game has tons of possible outcomes. I'm going to do three possible outcomes of the game, and see how it goes. So I'm going to start with this possible. Outcome. I'm gonna start. Dad follows story really. The, the announcer says. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I know that was my right. This was not the correct way to the I employee have done lounge, the, um... and Stanley knew it perfectly well. So he turned left at the first open door and walked back in the right direction. I'm just going to solely defy everything he says. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Maybe this is why everyone had left. No one wanted to be around someone as bad at listening as him. And since he was walking into the middle of nowhere and thus ruining the entire story, Stanley decided that he would punish himself. So when he came to the elevator and the doors opened, he stepped inside and pushed the button to go up. I don't have to push the button to go up, and I'm doing the ending, which results in me like solely. Oh, Stanley! Yeah. <sighs> you know, you really aren't going anywhere, and I don't say that deceitfully. I truthfully mean that there isn't a story down here. The story was back up where I told you to go in the first place. Right now, you're just running around looking at empty halls. And frankly, that's perhaps even more infuriating for me. So why don't you throw me a bone? Give me a chance and just let me tell the story I want to tell, hmm? I don't think I've ever done this ending. Okay, so now it's a bit creepy because there's nothing. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Aha! Uh -huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay. I'm going to walk through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. I, I never knew that. I All right, that. fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Missing textures. You see? It's nothing. No one's even built this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. There's it's just a bunch there. of skybox and dev wall textures. That's it. Is this what you were looking for? 
Was it worth ruining the story I'd written out for you? You're I put a lot of time into that, and now you... Well, here you are now, just looking at nothing. To think that that's all I needed to make in the first place, just a whole lot of nothing, and you would have been happy. Well, hey, Hi. you I still need a little something to do. Am I right? Here, let me load up another map. See if there's something in here that'll keep you occupied. God, this is long. <laughs> this is pretty long. Ah, well, other than the other story. Let's it's just going to be like up. a big half life We'll see if you like it. I, I haven't seen this story. Yay, it's loading a new map. I've never seen the, this game do that. Half-Life. Um, I'm going to call it a game. Because it... I, I would call it a game. It's not... It's a mod, technically, but it feels... Game. Yeah, I knew it would be Half-Life. Okay. Well, Stanley... Is this any better? Oh my god, I, I can actually pick up the be. stuff. This map wasn't even made for you. Made for Golden Throne. At least I created a world specifically with you in mind. I wanted to make you a leading man. I can never pick up stuff this one, well, Stanley. I'm afraid I'm you're on your own there. There's no combine. I can't get through here. Tools of destruction. Oh, cool, I can. Whoops. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got his job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That, or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. I've never seen this ending, but this is a pretty cool ending. It's just like... What? But I've never seen that in Half-Life. What the hell is that? Okay, um... I spent so long talking about you. Why don't we just take a break from that and talk about something else for chairs. a change? Let's talk Let's about chairs. Well, according to Wikipedia, more than 90% of the night sharks caught off northeastern Brazil contain mercury concentrations higher than that considered safe by the local government. Now, this is fascinating. Don't you want to know more about the night sharks? No, no, I don't. Oh, no, of course not. All you want to hear about is yourself. I want to hear about this chair. Well, fine. You haven't listened it to me once so far. I can't expect you to turn that back. around now, can I? Come on. Oh yeah. This game is this game is like Am I gonna redo Half Life? Ow. <sighs> is this the end of the line? Look, I don't suppose this was a particularly fulfilling experience for you, considering not a single art aspect in this map was created with you in mind. But hey, that, maybe that you're might. a creative kid. I bet you can come up with a story about this place and why you... Wait. Hold on. What are you, what are you doing? I'm stuck. I, I can't move. Yeah, I can. I can move. I can move. Okay. Congratulations. You're, you're just watching me try to figure something. Oh. Light the end of a tunnel. That That's good. It, it means my... Yeah. What's that? Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. That, that, that was an aspect in, um, Portal 2, wasn't it? Um, spoiler, spoiler here. When you escaped, um, Gladys would say he, she, he can't, she has no microphone and she can't talk to you there. I can either be free, or I can be in pitch black darkness. I'm being free. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it, you know that. That's loud. That's loud. I'm gonna edit out that part. Okay, back, back up. Where am I? Who am I? I'm Stanley out, I'm here. Okay, now I can just go and walk. Doors aren't close behind me. I, oh my god, I feel scareder than I've ever felt before. Like, literally. I, I, I'm like Stanley. I, I don't work in total solitude. Um, nothing works. Nothing helps. 
Nothing, nothing. Except, uh, except me, I, I nothing. It's sad, I know, but all stories must come to an end. Of course, they say it's the journey that truly matters and not the destination, and I like that idea. To think we might value the paths we walk as much as the places they lead us. Now, I don't know what sort of story you've ciphered out of that world you've made for yourself, but I hope that being the leading man was everything it's cracked up to be. This is so long. I know it can be a little hard getting around without someone looking over your shoulder, but this is simply the nature of freedom. Besides, I haven't really gone anywhere. Maybe you don't want a guide, but I think I'll always have a place here at the end of every story. I'll step in and wrap things up with a nice piece of dialogue and a reflection on life that makes sense of whatever path you've chosen to walk. This makes and me want to do videos on Half-Life I'm now. happy to be the destination instead of the journey. But only for now. Oh my god, that was the best singular story ever. Like, to make that. I'm gonna piss off a lot of people when I say this, but I felt that might have been better than Black Ops 2. Like, but in my opinion, you know. New game, ending 2. Uh, and then I'm gonna do the ending where I help the announcer. Actually, I'm gonna do the first thing I can, you know. Okay, I'm not gonna have to cut this because I've been talking all for a. Oh my god, Windows, what the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? We've seen this, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't sit through that every day of my life. Stanley decided to go to the staff lounge to check on his co workers. He never functioned well wait. by himself. Wait, and wait, constantly wait. needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Wasn't the wall... Wait, wait. Wasn't it there? Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> Creepy. Okay, I think I might be losing my marbles. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Maybe everyone just took their off. I'm gonna kinda help the announcer, but not. Oh. As Stanley entered the lounge, he was horrified Water. to find not a single person here. He decided he would walk up to see his um, boss, hoping that he would find the microwave. There. Why is there like plans for um wait is that is that Kleiner? Oh my god that's Kleiner. Okay why is there Kleiner on the wall? I might play the citizen after this. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs no. to his boss's office. But Stanley just couldn't do it. Oh he god, considered this, this the possibility the of facing his boss of admitting that he had left his post during work hours, hey, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, was it really worth taking that risk? All because he believed everyone had disappeared. His boss would think he Why was are these crazy. Open? They close and then something the occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Maybe I am. Everyone I know, simply vanishing out of the blue, there's almost no other explanation for it and a nagging fear began to creep up in his mind. Questions that had been there all along. He just hadn't put his finger on them yet. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Oh God, I can't! Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Was he just walking around in circles? Where am I, he thought. And the more he found himself unable to answer these questions, the more questions continued to arise, until he came to the issue that had been slowly born, until he could ignore it no longer. Why is there a voice in my head, dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Why is Suddenly, that music? 
Every door no, 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 Stanley screamed. I need to get out of here. Oh. I need to know oh, that damn. there's something out there. I need to know it's not just all in my head. Oh my god, he this screamed could be and clutched at his skull as the voice grew harsher and the music in the background rose higher and higher. And then, moments before collapsing to the ground, Stanley clenched his fists and screamed to anyone who might be listening, I'm not real! I'm not real! Don't believe any of it! None of it's real! And then it's all half life too. That was a pretty good ending. Like, this I is I love the story endings. of a woman named Mariella. Oh yeah, Mariella. Don't know who she is. Mariella woke up on a day like Wait, any other. She got dressed, is went this to work, room? clocked in, clocked out, and then she walked home. Sounds like Neapolitan But rooms. her walk on this Mind day was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming Stanley's to himself death. and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Moments after seeing him, she would turn run to the nearest police station and call for an ambulance. But for just a few brief seconds, she merely stood there, unable to move. Actually, the last ending, I didn't the die, tragedy I did die. was not the death of a single person. It was that she would never know this man's story, never hear in his own words what had happened to him, or what he believed had happened to him. For to know these things would be to exist inside the head of the man himself. So all she could do was observed from a distance and pity him. But Mariella had places to be and people to meet with, very important people, whose impressions of her would affect her career and indeed the rest of her life. She stood there for only a moment, looking down at the body, and then she ran. I definitely want to be a bolt of dream, but no, it definitely was not it, I don't think that was near the dream. It definitely wasn't. So I'm checking my answering machine, but okay, last ending. Let's um do this properly. So I think that's the only ending where Stanley that that first one I did. Stanley I decided to go to the staff lounge to check on his co-workers. I think he never the... functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying. Right, to I'm gonna wait here. Okay, so I'm gonna do the last ending. Well, not the last ending. There's tons of endings to this, and then there's a game out on Steam lately. No, 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 but I can't afford it because it's nearly Christmas. So my mum. Um. So yeah. So I'm just following the box. When Stanley well. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. okay that's simple enough. Simple enough. Um. Um. Um, what to do? What was I gonna do? Um. As Stanley entered the lounge, he was horrified to find not a single person here. Yeah, and no he one washed their he hands would walk in like weeks. Boss, well, I'm hoping not that he would find an answer there. Decline a man. And don't know where this is and what the, this is. What the? Uncle? I think this is. Oh, Uncle Kleiner, it says. Or, or Kitten, I don't know. It says Uncle Kleiner. <laughs> Funny. And it's by Alex. That's, that's, that's referency. Kleiner must have worked Coming here. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No, this isn't. Wait, I'm going to make it look like that. Um, but yeah. Sorry, I played this ending so much that Entering I know the Entering his manager's out. office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. I'm in that. It was at this point that he began to feel dizzy and a little sick. Yet incredibly, Yay. by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Stanley ventured forth into the newly opened passageway. Okay. As he drew deeper into the bowels of the building, Stanley had no idea deeper, where I'm he was going around or what this place held. What, what and just as he began to think he might not discover a thing, he emerged into a long room to find rows and rows of oh, monitors. Uh, screens with a number above it. Stanley noticed, however, that these were not random numbers, but the number of employees who worked in the building, his co-workers, 
512. 512. Or, oh, yeah, there I am. Set up so or he asked. Oh, oh. Revealing the ultimate truth of the I this one. This ending. All right, I have but an enormous control I, panel I, stand I, I don't, discovered, I don't end it but easy. not one oh, that controlled simple machinery. Engine buttons were labeled with emotions: happy, sad, levers and knobs controlled actions: walking, eating, doing work, or watching TV. Every input on this device monitored not the functions of a machine, but of a human button. being, and the reality began to sink in. Stanley, like so many it other people, switch reduced to images on a monitor, had been under someone's control, always at the mercy of this machine. Could this have been the only reason enough. employee number 427 was content with his boring job? That a machine had altered his emotions to accept it blindly? He began to feel an unbridled rage, and at the peak you of his anger, barrels. something happened. No, you are not. A spark. Stanley looked up and saw the generator overhead, still providing some small amount of power to the machine, keeping it alive. And knowing that this generator was all that kept the controls running, Stanley moved to the ladder in the back of the room and began to climb ending. towards the rafters. If I jump up there and like kill myself with that, but like Stanley Parable. In the next one, I think you can jump. Oh. Make a song out of. The higher Stanley climbed, the closer he felt to freedom, the further from enslavement. Okay, this is the um ending to the um game. I'm here. Um, I've done the table for generator, and that's what I've done. Where it it play for yourself, get these you more or game scene. Um, and it. Engaged the generator. Oh, Stanley. Oh, I meant to shut you down. You didn't the just activate the controls, did you? After it kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine Sorry. for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Stanley. Yeah, I'm just gonna like this. Stanley. Sorry. <laughs> I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand there's only so much that machine can do. You were meant to let it go, turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do better but than that. if I disable the generator, disable me and I'm kill me. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you have. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized that he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, Nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Oh, let's make it say, um, two minutes. Now, this is making things a little Ow. more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Go ahead, play with those controls all you like. The real controls are where I'm sitting. Did you really ever believe you held any power? Yeah, Did you I not think I knew what I was doing? Here, when I erased your co-workers and turned off the machine, I was offering you freedom, an escape. I didn't have to do that. I've run this story many times, and I don't always set you free. Don't even know what Sometimes you just sit there, day after day after day, doing your job forever, and then dying alone. But when I actually give you the freedom to control your own actions, it's not enough. Oh, do I, I let you go, and you trapped yourself just the same. You just weren't made to handle this sort of responsibility, I'm afraid. But you know what you were made for? Pushing buttons. <laughs> you get it now? Now I'm enjoying this. To tell you what, I'll throw some extra time on the clock just because I'm having so much fun. There we go. You see, I want to watch you for every long second you try to puzzle this out. After all, it should make sense, right? The timer, the nuclear detonation, the mysterious facility, it's all here. This is a video game. Except for one thing there, hero. 
You've got no weapon, no vehicle. You don't even know where you're going. When you saw that timer, you just instinctively started trying to find an exit, didn't you? In fact, I bet you're still looking for a way out. I bet you're clicking on everything in this room, trying to open doors or vents or something and solve the puzzle. As though this game has a solution, as though it can be won. That timer is not a catalyst to keep things moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. It's the moment when the hero the realizes like that despite his best efforts, he is powerless to his environment. His and then he lets go. He surrenders. No. No. And he dies. No, that's not how. 30 um, seconds, Stan. 30 so, seconds. Until a boom. I doubt your. And then I, nothing. I doubt. No ending to the right. story, just you dying. I suppose you could have gotten an actual ending if you played along. Did play but along. That just wouldn't have been your style, you would it? And I didn't Instead, you'll perish knowing that oh. the only choice you made here was to turn on that machine and to start this timer. But you it's gonna be start doing like minus seconds. Because I'm not isn't going it? anywhere. I'll be here to watch every second of your inevitable life from the time oh we fade God, in until knows. the moment I say happily ever after. Oh, it worked. Happily ever after. Um, guys, that was the Stanley Parable, and that was an amazing video game. I got nuked, I um, jumped out of a window, and went for a town, and kind of screwed the game up a bit. I, went, I became Gordon Freeman for some reason. I have Half-Life, so I can do that again. Um, and bye.